सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो टिल नाउ इन द डी एस पी डी एस पी क्लासेस वी हैव डिस्कस टिल द ओवर लैप सेम एंड ओवर लैप मैथड राइट सो दो हैव नॉट सीन दोज वीडियोज प्लीज रेफर दोज वीडियोज एज वी आर कंटिन्यूंग इन द सेशन ऑफ डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग टिल नाउ वी आर डूइंग द वीडियोज रिगार्डिंग टू नेटवर्क एनालिसिस सो आई थॉट दैट दिस सब्जेक्ट वी वर pending with a lot of stuff so let us continue with this subject only so we are left with uh, around 2 uh, uh, to 3 modules which contains problems then uh, module 1 at, at the end i'm going to do the complete module 1 which is full of theory okay so that's why i kept it for last so i thought that to do the problems at first so that's why all the uh, modules related to the problems i'm covering first so till uh, till last video we have covered till overlap save and overlap add method right so yeah and uh, most of the people were requesting to continue the classes of dsp so that's why we have work. we are continuing now the next topic which are continuing is related to fir structures okay so this is from module 4 actually okay so i've told you right i'm not going to uh, module wise i'm taking one one concept which is uh, necessary for you all to know and then i'm trying to cover all of them in a sequence okay so that's why this is the first uh, topic or uh, now today we are discussing that is related to fir structures and the first in the in fir structures we have two kinds of uh, forms one is direct form and one is cascaded form okay so first we are going to discuss about this direct form what is this direct form how the direct form structures would be looking like so in these kind of fir structures what they would be giving you is they would be giving you one simple equation like this which consists of y of n and x of n terms okay direct form and here they would be asking you to write the equivalent direct form or cascaded form structure so first since you are discussing about direct form so i'm going to tell you one simple example of how to uh, write the direct form structure of one particular equation which is given here okay so let us discuss one example here just i have drawn one direct form structure then we are going to solve many problems okay so example one the question is y of n is equal to Minus two into x of n plus one by two into x of n minus one minus two into x of n minus two. Okay, so this is the ex uh, equation here they have given. For this, we should be writing the direct form structure. Keep in mind that here y of n would be right uh, written in the output side, and x of n it see all these three contains a common factor that is x of n, right? In all of these three uh, terms. Common factor is x of n, so x of n would be written in the input side. Okay, first thing you should be remembering this these two steps. Now, what you should be doing is the, we have we have three terms here getting added up together. One we have plus and minus here. Okay, here you should be separately writing the coefficients and the these x of n terms. So let us see how to do that. So here what they have given is y of n is equal to this equation, right? so here in output side y of n we should be combining these three together how to do how to do that see let us see here i have started with this input x of n here okay here i have put uh, taken one dot and here i have drawn one z inverse block why because we need the next part that is x of n minus 1 which consists in this point okay you know that what is uh, uh, z transform of x of n minus 1 That is one by two into x of n minus one. We can write it as one by two z inverse, right? Z to the power minus one. Okay. Similarly, for x of n minus two, we can write it as minus two into z to the power minus two. So what I've done is, in order to make it this in this form, I've drawn one z to the power minus one block. Okay. So that's why at this point now the value would be equal to x of n minus one. Similarly. From this point, I have drawn one more block of z inverse because we want the next value of z to the power minus two. So minus one minus one would be minus two, so that we would be getting at this point x of n minus two. So this much we have done, right? We got the values of x of n, x of n minus one, x of n minus two. Now see the coefficient of x of n that is two. So from this x of n line, continue it and draw one summer here or an adder symbol. Why? Because these uh, all these three terms are getting added up and get uh, finally we are getting this answer right so that's why now add it up now what we will be doing is at this line only write the coefficient of x of n that is minus 2 okay and here from this point x of n minus 1 draw one line from this point and here name the coefficient uh, that is 1 by 2 in here in this line 
okay so it indicates that x of n minus 1 which it, it, if, it, if it is traveling in the same line these two are getting multiplied similarly minus 2 into x of n is getting multiplied so then you can see that again one more summer i've drawn it here why because i'll tell you later first focus here from this point it is moving like this and here it is meeting at this summer and also this it is meeting at this summer so these two are meeting together and getting added up that is minus 2 into x of n plus 1 by 2 into x of n minus 1 is getting added up here okay so that part is clear now whatever the answer we get right after adding up that would be adding up with the final term so that's why what i've done is from this point here i've written the coefficient that is minus 2 into x of n minus 2 and here it is getting meted up in this summer okay and it is continuing to this summer so actually the answer for this we get at this point okay and final answer after the uh, answer of answer of these two it will it will be getting added up and final answer will be getting it as y of n so that's why i've continued this summer and i've touched it here and i've uh, named this output as y of n okay so like this you should be drawing one typical uh, typical direct form structure hope it is very clear this is very easy guys you can understand very easily okay you should be just remembering the z inverse the z transform here uh, matters a lot okay so this is one simple example so hope this is clear so now let us see one more example here okay that is here they have given they have not given y of n they have given h of n here okay h of n they have given it as delta of n plus 1 by 3 delta of n minus 1 minus 7 delta of n minus 3 okay now take it the z, uh, z transform here we should be converting this h of n into y of n how we do is first take the z transform whenever they give z h of n you should be doing like this first take the z transform of h of n that is h of z and z transform of delta of n is you should be writing all of its coefficient that is 1 and delta of n z transform is equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 delta of n minus 1 since we have minus 1 so we should be writing z inverse minus 7 write it as it is see since we have here n minus 3 so 7 z to the power minus 3 now we got h of z h of z is the transfer function so transfer function is output by input right so output in this case is y of z and input is x of z so h of z we can convert it and write it as y of z divided by x of z that is equal to 1 plus this only equation write it as it is now what i am doing is this x of z i am multiplying to this term here okay i am cross multiplying so what we would be getting y of z is equal to x of z multiply x of z to this whole equation so what would be getting x of z plus 1 by 3 x of z z inverse minus 7 x of z z to the power minus 3 okay now again take the inverse z transform of this term because we need we needed y of n right our goal was to find y of n so take the inverse z transform okay we would be getting y of n x of z would be equal to x of n plus 1 by 3 since we have x of z z inverse since it is z to the power minus 1 so it, we should be writing it as x of n minus 1 then minus 7 x of n minus 3 since we have z to the power minus 3 okay like this we would be getting one equation here for this now write the direct form structure as i have told you here okay x of n is the input side y of n is the output side so x of n and here the coefficient is 1 so i have not written anything here if if some anything is not written here you should be considering it as 1 only okay so 1 into x of n okay then we have x of n minus 1 at this point so that's why you should be including a block of z inverse this is a delay of z inverse this is even called as the delay block okay so at this point now the value is x of n minus 1 and from here from this point now write the coefficient of x of n minus 1 that is 1 by 3 these two would be getting added up at this point okay and similarly now we are having minus 7 into x of n minus 3 now so if you want to find the value of x of n minus 3 we should be getting z to the power minus 3 right but here if we add z to the power minus 2 block here we would be getting x of n uh, minus 3 since it is delay is from minus 1 to minus 3 okay it is the delay of two steps so that's why i have mentioned it here z to the power minus 2 then write its coefficient here minus 7 okay then uh, write a separate adder so that's why these two would be getting added up together that is these two terms would be getting added up together and the answer of these two terms would be getting added with this term that is if these two terms are getting added up the answer of these two would be getting added to the this term so that finally our answer we would be getting it in terms of y of n okay so hope this is clear like this uh, in this form you should be doing the fir structures of these two simple examples i have uh, told you in this session okay 
so please note these two examples because from the next session we are going to solve problems manually okay i'm going to give you i'm going to give the questions and i'm going to solve it and without referring the notes i'm going to solve it okay so these were the two uh, simple examples which i have discussed hope this is clear if it's not clear please watch the video again and again those who have not watched the previous videos of uh, digital signal processing it is very very important guys so you should be watching it don't skip any part of these videos because these videos are very very useful for you all and again like share subscribe to our channel uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you would be getting the latest notifications of our channel and please stay updated to our channel so from now onwards i'm i would be regularly trying you to upload the videos because now you know i'm free now i don't have any other uh, pending work or something so i'm free now so regularly i would be trying you to upload the videos regularly from now till the uh, till the exam date okay uh, uh, during exam times so videos will be uploading regularly of all the revision and stuff so that you don't worry till the exam time it is my promise that from my side i'm promising you that regularly i'm going to upload videos without skipping every any day every day one or two videos would be getting uploaded so please do support us do share this channel to a huge number guys so please inform all of your friends those who are those who are seeing this channel that we are going to upload the channel regularly okay again those who are regular to my channel it is uh, uh what to say uh, gratitude which you are showing towards because uh, the audiences which are loyal those who be staying uh, regularly to our channel so that's why please support us guys and those who are those for those loyal audiences those who are supporting us very very thank you from our side okay so that's all guys please like share subscribe to our channel do support us thank you